what is up my bros apathy back in the building today with another video and today i'm gonna be talking about some very important things how to become a better call of duty player something that i think will drastically help you guys and if not it will definitely help you guys trust me it's gonna help you guys and also while we're talking about it we're gonna be watching some phenomenal gameplay i go on a 23 kill streak eventually towards like sort of the end and i just you know just dominating on london hardpoint do my thing but really today i want to be talking about how to become a better call of duty player and i got some tips for you guys and some good insight you know from a professional call of duty player to you guys to really help you become better and if you're a amateur player who wants to become pro or you just want to be sort of better just in general in call of duty this should definitely um help you and help you achieve that so first things first having good aim and practicing your shot that is one of the most important things in call of duty because obviously the whole objective is to kill and to shoot people so making sure you have that good shot and that good aim is very 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 important so first thing is first play a lot shoot a lot shoot people shoot bots play pubs play eights scrims practice anything practice your shot the more you shoot the better you're gonna get the more awkward situations you're gonna get into for example you know jumping around the corner or getting into a little closet door while guys are already there the more uh, situations you get into that the more replays over and over and over again the better your shot will get in those weird situations the better you will know how to approach the situations and you're gonna shoot better not only is your shot always gonna be on point but it's just gonna help you shoot better and I do want to make on how to improve your your shot or your your shot or your aim in war with two video I'll probably be making that soon hopefully within the next couple days but that's I'm just gonna so I'm gonna be really brief about this but one play a lot shoot a lot do your thing second of all with that making sure you're not on a high sensitivity if you're a submachine gun player probably stick to five five sensitivity maybe six six I wouldn't go higher than that if you want to have a nice steady shot like seven seven eight eight it's a higher whatever don't go that high you want to stay around five five six six max four four is just a little too slow yeah your shot might be a little bit steadier but as a submachine gun especially when you're running around in this close quarter combats you really don't want to have that slow as a sensitivity and if you're an ar and assault rifle player probably you play on four four i think it's the most beneficial probably the best for you to use four four is just a good overall sensitivity so it can be a little bit slow but still decently fast and it'll help you hit those long range shots especially if you're playing against other star rifles who are on 4-4 it'll be very difficult for you to out shoot them if you're a higher sense and they're on a lower sense unless you're a god if you're a god and your shot's amazing well congrats you're a beast next thing which i believe is the most important thing i'm, I'm going to be talking about today in this video and i really want you guys to listen really closely especially if you're like i said a t uh, amateur player or, or a player that wants to become a pro player eventually who wants to be better you know you know all the good stuff first of, or second of all make sure like all right before i get into this knowledge is the most important thing in any esports and any competitive even if you're just a, a casual public match player whatever knowledge in the game is super important knowing what to do in certain rotations and hard point knowing what to do in certain positions knowing what to do in certain in certain hills knowing what to do in search and destroy on a certain bomb site or how to retake a bomb site knowledge is the most important thing in the game almost everybody can shoot straight for the most part almost everyone can can eventually achieve that good shot but what takes you to that next level what takes you to become a better player is knowledge knowledge on how to play the game how to learn now i know it's very difficult because us professional call of duty players have access to playing the top top notch teams the, the best teams in the world and it helps us improve and helps us get better and i know for amateur teams and amateur players it's a little bit more difficult to to get that type of practice which is completely understandable and especially with pro teams not streaming scrims anymore i know that can hurt a little bit as well and it definitely makes it a little bit more difficult for you guys to learn but i will say this players still stream money eights players still rarely stream streams with no comms but when they do stream even though it's no comms or even united have streamed before with comms like go to their stream and really focus on what they're doing and try to get better don't just go to their stream for entertainment don't just go to unless you really don't care if you just if you're just going as if you're just a casual fan or a casual just esports fan and you just want to watch to have fun that's fine go ahead man have your fun but if you're someone who's really competitive and really want to get better and you're a player who, who's trying to become a pro player and you're really into like esports and all of that go into the stream to learn like take notes 
like and especially listen to communication now obviously during some scrims there's going to be no comms but if there's money it's going involved if there's people streaming money it's like i stream money it sometimes listen to the comms listen to communication like I, I will be like hey push this out or somebody will be like hey push out my tin on this next hill you know that is something you should be intaking that is something you should be implementing into your gameplay and learning oh now I know on this hill, I should be pushing this out. Wow, that's something I didn't know. You just learned something new just watching, just studying. Something a lot of you guys don't know. In IW, when I was I was like an average player, you know, I, was, I wasn't I was like that good towards like during the middle. Like I, I got, I was pretty good towards in, during the start. Then towards the middle, I was, I was like average. And what really helped me excel and become even a better player was other than grinding. I was grinding a lot. I was playing a lot of eights, but I was watching stream. I was watching formal stream. I was watching Krim stream, I was watching like some other pro player stream, and it really helped me learn what to do in certain situations, what to do, how to position myself in certain situations, and it made me easily a better player. It's so under underrated just watching. Like you don't always have to be playing, it's just studying, learning, watching. It's so uh, like overlooked and or underlooked, whatever you want to say. And it's definitely such a big factor, and that's something like learning the game and learning knowledge in the game will help you become a better player. It will be help you become smarter. It will help you make more plays. It will help you win your team games. And I mean, same can apply to casual matches. If you're just playing pubs, if you're just playing public matches. You know, the more public matches you play, the more you, the, you, the more you uh, try to figure out what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong. You know, you can learn. You can learn in anything, man that is the difference like i said man everyone can shoot straight everyone can have a good shot it, it might take a little bit of time to obtain but once you have it you have it now what's the next thing knowledge you know that is the most important thing that's what will take you to the next level so next time you're watching aids or if you're very serious about getting better at call of duty and becoming maybe a professional player one day or you're very serious about you know just be, being a better call of duty player and you're very competitive just study watch gameplay watch youtube gameplay Watch streams, you know, learn, see what they're doing right, see what they're, what you, what, what you're not doing, see what can help you become a better player. Because believe it or not, you will see results. Next time you play, like just from watching, you'll be like, whoa, this really worked. Wow, help me get some extra kills. And it's, it's just such a good thing, man. So I really hope you guys take that into consideration and really put that into your, into next time you're watching stream or next time you're just spectating or whatever the case is. Cause yeah, like entertainment's fun, but if you're very serious about competing, like every time I practice, every time I'm streaming, every time I'm playing eights, I'm playing to learn, man. I'm not, I don't play eights to win the money. You know how many times, like during the start of this game, I was getting shit on and I lost like, so I've lost more eights in this game than I've won. And I'm down probably like 200, $300. But you know what? All those eights helped me get better. They, they gave me solid practice and it helped me become a better player. It was just the L I had to take, but it's just when you're grinding, when you're playing something, try to use that time wisely. Like try to go hard, try to really focus, try to, you know, just intake information and try to try to really get knowledge so you can become a better player and become a better this overall beast. And the last thing, which is pretty, pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but I do want to mention this because it's a fact. It's it's a fact. I do want to mention this is just play a lot in general man just like any game just like anything just like any competitive thing the more you play the better you'll be the more you'll know the, the better your shot will be just anything in general bro you could be playing you could be shooting bots every day you know you know Zuma used to shoot bots every single day the man has a shot of a of a, a stallion Man, like just playing in general, playing more. Like I've been playing so much pubs lately, and my shot has improved. I am like I'm using my new scuff controller, which wasn't well, I was using like a broken one or a very old one the past couple months. So, but I I don't know. It's not the controller, man. My shot has been electric. I've been beaming lately. Like my shot's been on point. So and it's just from playing more. I, I kid you not. It's just from playing more. You know, I'm just shooting my gun more. I'm getting, I'm used to the, all these, a lot of these engagements and these little weird corners, like the snapping more. Like, it's a factor, man. It's, it's such a huge factor. Just playing more Call of Duty, just pl playing. It will get you better. It will make you a better player. And I kid you not, like, everyone's on the gunless wave because it's fat. I mean, it's got, like, everyone's playing pubs. Everyone's playing. 
like the thing about the thing about it the most important thing is one scrims scrims will obviously make you improve as a team and make you improve in general and then two is just playing to have your shot warm but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video you know just a little sort of some nice gameplay and just talking to you guys uh just on ways how to improve and i hope you hopefully you guys took it really serious because I'm, I'm being really serious about this like this will make you a better call of duty player and you will see better results but yeah hope you have all a good day don't forget to like comment subscribe it's been your boy after and i'm out peace